Hello everyone and welcome back to the small holding. So I just thought I'd do a little video today. I thought it'd be quite interesting for you to see how many logs I can get from one sycamore. So the sycamore I'm going to do is this one, which is the one I talked about when I was planting my um, my new 250 sycamores that I did this year. So this one was one of the first sycamores I put in. It was just a little seedling that I found in a border when I was weeding the border on a job. I planted it and it had its first coppice I think it was about eight or nine years ago. I'm not 100% on that. I'll have a look at the rings when I cut it. Um, and so this is about eight or nine years regrowth. So I just thought it'd be interesting to show you how many logs I can get from this one tree, bearing in mind that obviously I'm hoping to have maybe up to about 100 trees a year once everything's up and grown. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not getting any younger, so I could be getting fairly old by the time I get to that point, but it, it, you know, I enjoy doing it anyway and I'm going to carry on doing it um, but I'm hoping to have up, up to about 100 trees each year um, that are harvestable but now obviously trees are funny things and quite often if you plant 100 trees you might only have 60 or 70 that actually grow nice and fast and decent like this one and then you might have a few spindly ones and you know etc but um, I'm hoping to get maybe between 60 and 80 decent trees of this sort of size um, of all the different types that I plant each year <clears throat> in probably about 10 years time I'm hoping to be there you know I'll be nearly 60 at that point but anyway like I say I enjoy doing it and it's all part of growing my woodland and, and having a woodland that I can maintain by not letting things get too big I'm cutting them at this sort of size so they're not getting too big so hopefully even as I get older I can manage to drop trees this size and log them up so basically what I'm going to do is I'll stop talking now and I'm just going to crack on and bang the whole tree down I'll leave the video running I'll log it all up and at the end we'll see what sort of pile I've got. So that's the tree down and brushed up, basically just taking off all the smaller branches. So all this sort of stuff. I mean, I could save some of this for logs, but that's only just over an inch thick. So most of this will go for wood chip. Um, what I might do with some of it is, is cut it up into half size lengths and make another little hedgehog house with leaves and twigs just up in the woods here. But what I'll do now is I'll, I'll log it up and see how many logs we get.
I'll just stack them up and I'll bring you in and show you what we got. That's a lot. Not a bad pile of logs really from one tree. Let's have a closer look. So there you go. I and mean, that's a, a good lot of burn in there. It's probably a good sort of five or six evenings, a couple of full days. And then this is the stump. Oh, I actually missed a log there. There's another log. So this is a stump. Now we are, um, what we today is like mid March and it is starting to bleed a little bit. So I'm actually going to finish my coppice in this week. I usually will coppice up to the end of March, but as soon as I see them bleeding like this um, and the buds are just sort of looking like they're going to start bursting soon then I will stop coppicing. I don't like to see things bleeding out. I don't think it, um, it does them much good. But let's just have a quick look, see if I was right about the age. Uh, so one, two, it's not that clear. Three, four, five, six. So seven, seven or eight, but I reckon it's about eight, I think about eight years. The sycamores do grow pretty quick. Um, this is one of the better ones. A few of the others have, have grown a bit sort of smaller. Um, there is this one here, like I showed in my other video, which grew at the same time. This has more stems, but they are, they are thinner. But you know, it's all good wood. It all goes in the fire and, and burns just as well. It doesn't particularly matter on the size, but the reason I like the coppice wood is because you don't need to split any of this really. I mean, maybe these bigger logs, a couple of them at the bottom are split in half, but other than that, they can all just be stored as they are. It's a season for a year and I'll be using them next year. No splitting really required. So it's a lot easier. And um, you can grow these coppice trees pretty close together. You can see where I planted the new ones. I did almost flatten that one at the back there but it'll be all right but uh, I'm trying to get them no more than eight foot apart really ideally five or six maybe um, so they grow nice and tall and straight so thanks for watching I hope you found that quite interesting and um, obviously seeing the logs is a bit of a help to sort of seeing what I'm hoping to do here for my own firewood and obviously all this brashy stuff if I was to chip that, that would probably give me a full bag, them big green 120 litre sacks that I've, I use. That would probably give me one of those full of wood chip as well. So, you know, it's, it's a, a lot of useful stuff comes out of just one eight year old coppice sycamore. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy my channel. And we will see you next time. Take it easy, people.